we're going to give you an overview of centripetal force so you get the bigger picture. And the problem looking at is you take something and you tie a string to it and you're going to swing it around like this. So this is my hand, yes that's my hand, swinging a rock in a circle. And I just want to generally look at what's happening. Okay, the way we solve problems is we draw a free body diagram, label the direction of acceleration as positive, and then uh, write F net equals MA. So let me look at the top. Is there gravity? Yes, there is. Is it sitting on a surface? No. Is something pulling on it? Yes, there's a rope. And you can only pull in the direction of the rope. So the rope is down. So we got FT, tension. Now it's a little awkward because they're side by side, so I just drew it next to it. That should be fine. Um, is there friction? No, we're going to ignore friction in this one. So this is the free body diagram at the top. And at the top, it's accelerating down because objects that are going in a circle accelerate towards the center of the circle. And at this point, the center is here, so it's accelerating down. Let's look at the bottom of the circle. When this gets down to here, and the string is this way, what's going on there? Well, I'm going to draw a free body diagram there. Is there gravity? Yes, it's this way. Is it sitting on a surface? No. Is there friction? No, we're ignoring friction. Is there something pulling on it? Yes, there's tension. The reason I drew the tension bigger than gravity is centripetal force means there's got to be some force towards the center of the circle to keep it going in that circle. Up here, both forces were towards the center of the circle, so that works. At the bottom, I need some excess force towards the center of the circle to keep it going in a circle. So if this is bigger than this, I've got my excess force up, the acceleration is up, and it's positive. Why is it up? because at the bottom, it's accelerating towards the center, and the center is up. So let's say I calculate the force on F net equals MA. I write that, and then we add up the forces in the direction of acceleration. Uh, let me just calculate the net force. Let's say I calculate it. I've given you numbers, but they're not here. And I calculate it. It's equal to MAC. So let's say I calculated F net equals MAC and it equals 10 newtons. Okay, I put the numbers in, it equals 10 newtons. What does that 10 newtons mean? And I calculated it saying it's the mass times, well, either this acceleration equation or that acceleration equation. I've calculated this means that if this object is going to continue going in a circle, it needs 10 newtons towards the center. So let's look at this. Let's pretend that the gravity on this is 4 newtons. Let's look at what's happening at the top. I need 10 newtons towards the center to keep this thing going in a circle. Well, at this point I've got 4 newtons towards the center, so the tension in the rope must be 6 newtons. 6 newtons down, 4 newtons down, I've got my 10 newtons down, the object will continue going in a circle. Let's look at the bottom. Let's say the gravity is 4 newtons. I need 10 towards the center. So if this is 4, this must be 14 newtons. 14 newtons up, 4, four newtons down, I have my 10 towards the center. This thing will continue in a circle. Let's say I go a little bit slower now. I swing the rock a little bit slower, and it turns out that I no longer need 10 newtons. I only need 6 newtons to keep it going in that circle. Well, I look at the top. I have 4 newtons down. This must now be 2 newtons. I don't have to pull as hard on the rope when I swing it slower. 2 newtons down, 4 newtons down. I've got my 6 newtons. This thing is stable. It will continue in a circle. At the bottom here, the centripetal force tells us that we need 6 newtons towards the center. 4 newtons down, this must be 10 newtons up. 10 newtons up, 4 newtons down, I've got my 6. So you can see at the bottom, I still got to pull harder than I pull at the top. Let's say I slow down that rock a little bit slower, and I only need 4 newtons. At the speed it's going, I only need 4 newtons towards the center. Let's look at the top. When I swing that around, 
if the, the gravity is four newtons, it's supplying all the force I need to keep it going in a circle. So this is zero. It means when I swing this thing around, if the rock gets to the top, I don't have to pull on the rope. The rock will just continue all by itself because gravity is supplying the centripetal force. It will continue all by itself until it gets to about here. Then I have to pull because the gravity is four newtons this way. I need four newtons towards the center. Look at the bottom over here. When we get to the bottom, I've got four newtons down. This has got to be eight newtons. Eight newtons up, four newtons down. I've got my four towards the center. So this I still got to pull on because I got to overcome gravity. Now imagine if this was a bucket of water. If I swing it really quickly and I need uh, 10 newtons towards the center, at the top I would have to pull with 6. At the bottom I would have to pull with 14. When it gets slow enough that the gravity supplies all the centripetal force, I could literally let go of the bucket and the water would stay in the bucket and it would continue over in the arc until it got here and then I have to pull on it to continue over at the bottom of the circle. Let's say I go even a little bit slower. I go a little bit slower, and the centripetal force I need, according to my calculation, is 3 newtons. That means when I get to the top, I don't need any tension. I have too much force towards the center. That means the object is not going to continue going in a circle. If it's my bucket of water, the water is going to fall out of the bucket. At the bottom, the water would stay in, because I need 3 newtons up, 7 newtons up, 4 newtons down, I've got my 3 newtons up. So this is an overview of centripetal force for something going in a circle this way. We're now going to calculate a couple of problems. So check the next video out.